Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and do another battery comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro, 14 Pro, 13, not the Pro, but the standard 13, 12 Pro, and 11 Pro, and see how long these iPhones are going to last. Now I haven't gotten a chance to do this one even though the 15 Pro has been out for like three months now. So let's go and see how they're going to go ahead and compare. For the, basically what's going to happen is all the apps are cleared out in the background. They are all on their max brightness as well, as you can see. So all of them are on their max brightness, except for this one. You can see all max brightness. So we're going to go ahead and let them chill for like another hour. And we're going to just go ahead and see, kind of see what happens. Now, I don't think anything crazy is going to happen. But just letting them sit here, we're going to see what happens for the next like hour or so. And then check back in and see what happens. The big thing to keep in mind is whatever I do on one device, I will do on the other. So that's basically how it's going to work. So let's check back in in about another hour and basically see where we're at. Okay, so it's been about an hour, and I literally just sat them right here, just their main display on, didn't do anything with them. Now, you can see that my iPhone 15 Pro is at 94%. The 14 Pro is at 95%. Don't know why that is the case. The 13 is at 90%. The 12 Pro is at 88%, and the iPhone 11 Pro is at 87%. So, so again, varying battery lives on all of them. We're going to let them basically be on their main display again. Actually, I might load up Temple Run 2 right now and then just kind of let them die out a little bit like that. That might be a little bit of a faster way for them to kind of die out that way. So I'll go and load up Temple Run 2 on all of them, kind of go from there and kind of see what happens after. So we'll check back in in about another hour and see basically where we're at. Well, everyone, it's been about another hour and we can go and check out the battery lives once again. And hopping out of all of these and going back to the beginning main page, you can see that my iPhone 15 Pro is at 83%. The 14 Pro is also at 83%, the 13 is at 77%, the iPhone 12 Pro is at 68%, and the iPhone 11 Pro is at 72%. So it's kind of going exactly how I thought it was going to be. Surprisingly, my 12 Pro is doing worse than my 11 Pro, which kind of makes sense because this battery health wasn't as good as the 11 Pro. So we will go and let them run on Temple Run 2 once again for another hour. Again, we'll check back in in about another hour after that and basically see where we're at. But I kind of feel like at that point, we're probably going to be at varying battery lives. Potentially, the 15 Pro might be winning since these are a little bit closer. So we'll check back in about another hour and see where we're at. Well, everyone, it's been about another hour, which is crazy. The time is just flying. So let's go and hop out of all these applications on all these devices to see where we're at. The iPhone 15 Pro is at 73%. The 14 Pro is at 71%, iPhone 13 is at 66%, iPhone 12 Pro at 48%, and the iPhone 11 Pro is at 56%. So, so far, the iPhone 12 Pro is doing the worst, followed by the 11 Pro, followed by the 13, and then followed by the 14 Pro and 15 Pro. So these two are doing the best as I kind of expected. The 15 Pro is now doing a little bit better. So let's run them down again for another hour. Maybe I'll let them do for two hours, and then we'll check back in and basically see where they're at at that point. So we are at the 4 hour and 47 minute mark, and something very interesting is going on. So if we go and hop out of all of these, I saw that my iPhone 12 Pro had the low battery percentage sign way before all the others, which was crazy, and I got that low like 20% battery life way before. So my iPhone 15 Pro is at 55%, 14 Pro at 41, 51%, sorry, iPhone 13 at 45%, iPhone 12 Pro at 14%, and the 11 Pro all the way at the end at 28%. Some pretty crazy stuff here. We're going to let them kind of die out again. I'm going to go back into Temple Run 2, and we're going to be on that display. Actually, I may just leave them on their main display. Actually, I'm going to go back into Temple Run 2. That way they can die out faster. And we'll, check back, and we'll check back in in about another hour and see basically where we're at. So we're at the 6 hour and 17 minute mark. The iPhone 12 Pro actually ended up dying at the 5 hour and 25 minute mark. So about an hour ago, I was going to wait until the 7 hour mark, but I just figured I'd do it now. The iPhone 15 Pro is at 39%. I know you can't see it. Actually, I'll just go and turn the ISO down a little bit. So the iPhone 15 Pro is at 39%, iPhone 12 Pro 32%, iPhone 13 26%, and the iPhone 11 Pro is about to die and it's at 5%. So we'll just let them run again for like another hour and we'll check back in and we'll see where they're at. Well everyone, we are at the 7 hour and 7 minute mark. The iPhone 11 Pro actually ended up dying at the 6 hour and 37 minute mark. And these iPhones are at varying battery lives once again. So my 15 Pro is at 30%, my 14 Pro is at 21%, and the 13 is at 15%. This one is probably going to die within the next, I would say the next hour or two. So I guess we'll just kind of run it again until they all die out and kind of see what happens from there. So we are now at the 9 hour and 3 minute mark. And basically what ended up happening was the iPhone 13 ended up dying at the 8 hour and 21 minute mark. My iPhone 15 Pro is still at 9%, but the iPhone 14 Pro is at 0% now. So all these iPhones ended up dying. To be honest though, the iPhone 14 Pro did really, really well. I'm surprised how good of a job the 14 Pro actually did. It outperformed all, all the other iPhones basically for the most part. 
the 15 Pro, I think did an excellent job as well. You know, the 15 Pro is one of those iPhones that's going to be you know, the latest and greatest. It's funny though, because in the beginning with the 14 Pro was beating it, but then at the end, the 15 Pro actually ended up outperforming it, which is actually pretty insane. So what have we learned? The 15 Pro probably is going to give you conservatively better battery life than all the other Pro models before it. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.